Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining. Uh, today, we are going to demo our uh, MyTele OPD, uh, which can do video consultations and enable doctors to talk to their patients without, uh, without any app. You know, we, uh, we use the browser technology uh, to actually connect patients and doctors so that care is accessible to one and all. So I'm going to log in as a call coordinator first somebody who receives the call or a call that gets scheduled, okay? Right, then I am adding a whole Malik. Yeah. Anmol, uh, what's your number? So it's, tri it's triple eight. Okay. Triple two. Mm -hmm. Three, two, one, zero. All right. Really? 22. Okay. okay. Would you like to have a video consultation? Yeah. Could you give me a height? 5'8. Alright. Uh, your weight, please? 72 kg. Okay, 72 kgs. Symptoms. Uh, do you have any symptoms? Not yet. You could you could just Enter some test symptoms. Book the consultation. So but for this use case, what we are going to do is we are going to schedule uh, Anmol Malek, you know, to a demo doctor. Okay. So that would be doctor demo testing two. We're going to schedule it for this for this for today tonight's date and the time at this time i can also add uh, any patient history files you know if i had their uhid or medical record number uh, and then get it from their electronic medical records department or we can also integrate it directly with the emrd or his at this time i'll book the consultation so consultation scheduled successfully so the first thing that i'm going to do right now is uh Arnold, can you confirm if you have received uh, the sms Yep, I have received it. Okay, uh, can you uh, can you share your screen? Okay. okay. Uh, is it visible to you? Yes. Yes. Okay. So this is the message I got from the app. It says, okay. "Dear Anmol, your video consultation with Doctor Demo Testing Two is scheduled at June 1, 11 50 p.m." So yeah, it was oh. perfectly. Yeah, that's perfect. So, uh, so you probably want to join that. Can you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, me, yeah. So, Anmol okay. here is joining as a patient. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, we'll wait for it to come up. I am deliberately using it over mobile network, so you know. Oh, okay. Could that's good. It. So yeah, I mean that's a good that's a good thing that uh, uh, you pointed out. So the whole idea of going no app, uh, low app is to make sure that uh, is to make sure that you know that anybody, even in rural areas or elderly folks who do not have the ability to install apps, can directly click on an SMS link and then join the uh, video consultation. I share uh, the phone so that you know we can see you know what the doctor has received. Go to SMS organizer. Yes, no. Transact. Transactions. Metal lab. So, dear doctor, uh, you have a new consultation request from Anmol. Please use below link for tele OPD consultation. So, at this time, because it's a video consultation, I know the real estate on the phone is very less. So, we recommend that doctors and providers use a laptop or a tablet to do the video consultation. You got a cool feature of picture in picture also built into it and it's simply browser based. So I'm gonna change sharing the screens to my laptop and, and act as a doctor. Okay. All right, so I got the SMS. So the doctor knows now he needs to log in. I log in. And I do this, I log in as a doctor. And when I log in, I see the workload for me, okay? 
And this is the one that we are demoing today. Uh, Anmol Malik, uh, age 22, no symptoms, testing call. Uh, it belongs to the Z others department, no attachments. And then I have the video button and the prescribe button. So on the video call, just hit on the video button. All right, that's me. Okay, uh, it's waiting for patient. All right, okay, so I see Anmol, you know, here on the line and, you know, he's acting as a patient. So now that we have, so this is the doctor screen that you're looking at. And, you know, you see the patient screen here, big, and also the doctor screen is small, you know, so that you get a picture and picture feeling. So you have the prescription and the consultation notes on the right. I start filling it in. I'll ask Anmol, you know, do you, do you have any chief complaints? Do you have any chief complaints? Yeah, you could just write some test complaints. Okay. The test history, uh, some diagnosis. I hit next. Uh, any lab or investigation findings? None. Suggestive investigations. You can start keying in any tests that you want to prescribe. Or, you know, if a prescription, if a test that is not available in the list, then, you know, you just have to hit enter to get that added. I add a medication, prescribing paracetamol, tablet, strength 500 mg, twice daily, right, for 10 days. I add another medication, uh, probably Tylenol syrup. Uh, 100 mg at whenever there's a pain. So at this moment, you know, I decide, you know, everything is, everything looks good. Any special instructions that I need to give him? None. And a follow-up date. Uh, how about you meet us next Saturday after 10 days? Hit OK. Hit next. Ask me for my signature. Signing. I hit submit and then here I have the preview that gets loaded on the right. So when I have the preview here, uh, let's just wait for it because I'm also on the phone internet. We are testing everything on the phone internet to see that you know, it works perfectly. So the prescription time load, everything looks good. At this moment of time, if I want to go back, uh, go back and then change any medications, I can do that or I can hit submit and you know it generates and it's ready to send the PDF. So as soon as I hit send PDF, the prescription is sent to the patient and the consultation is also completed. So you're going to lose all the screen, all the video screens and everything. It's that quick. Okay. And Anmol, you have uh, something to say? Yeah, I would, I would like to mention one point that, uh, you know, for the patient to use this application, the tech specifications of their mobile is very minimal. They, they need only a Chrome browser. And if they are using iOS phone, then they need only the Safari browser. Like there are no, not very fancy specifications. They need to, you know, use this app. That's great. So it's very, you know, it's very comfortable for patients, even living in rural areas. They should just have a phone with a front camera and, you know, just a, and a browser, browser which, which almost every phone supports nowadays. So That's great. So I'm going to yeah. hit send consultation. You're going to, going to get an SMS. I want you to share uh, your screen and then you know, walk us through the uh, opening the prescription. Okay. Oh, okay, cool. Patient uh, prescription has been sent to patient's registered contact. So there you go. So the doctor side of it is done. That's how simple it is uh, to do uh, uh, to do a tele consultation uh, on uh, my tele OPD by M16 Labs. I'm going to stop sharing my screen so that uh, Anmol can share his screen. Okay, so I'll just go to the messaging app and you know, yeah, here it is. I have received the consultation. Dear Anmol, you could access your prescription app. I just have to click this link and here I go. All right. Here's the That's prescription, mm -hmm. doctor's name, qualification, registration number, the hospital's name, the contact number, the email ID and chief complaints test points, diagnosis, and like signature, everything is there. 
that's great so everything that you see here you know is in uh, is is in compliance with the Medical Council of India's uh, guidelines when it comes to teleconsultations and electronic prescriptions. Uh, so we can also send this prescription directly to the pharmacy, uh, preferred pharmacy of your choice or to your hospital pharmacy so that the medications are dispensed and couriered or uh, home delivered during these uh, uh, lockdown times. Uh, the lab investigations can also be directly sent to a lab information system so that uh, the lab knows that the patient would be coming in for a test or if they are sending a phlebotomist to the patient's home then they can actually uh, use this as uh, a prescription uh, to uh, collect the blood sample or any other sample that needed to be and to run some tests and all of this is readily integratable uh, with your health information system in your hospital or if you are using uh, a lab or a pharmacy uh, within your clinic then you can directly integrate it uh, with my tele opd so this concludes our uh, uh, our uh, presentation and demo of my tele opd video consultation thank you everyone have a nice one